Uh, we are in the middle of Kosciuszko Park. We are at the Ace Boxing Club. We're here with the operations manager and the program director, Frank. How you doing? Good, yourself? Good to see you. Likewise. I'm excited to be here because we have heard so much about you throughout the community of, of, of uh, Lincoln Village. And uh, I can't wait to hear what you guys do here. Oh, we do a lot. Um, first of all, it started in 1960s with my father, Del Porter, um, the late Del Porter. Um, 51 years you've been here? Over 50 years, yep. Really? And you started as a kid? I started here 12 years ago. Um, changed my life, me and my father. Uh, we made our amends together and, and forgave each other, and we started bonding together, and I had the same passion that he has for others, for yeah. uh, underserved people, underserved youth, at-risk people, at-risk youth. It's not just about boxing here, is it? No, it's not. Tell me what else What else the it's, kids do. It's teaching the kids the, um, the value of being involved in a community, uh, community projects. They love uh, helping out elderly. They do snow shovel removal. They do cleanups. Uh, every two weeks, they give to uh, uh, pantries when their food's running down. We do like a food drive. Yeah. Uh, just all kinds of amazing things come out of this. It's a lot of hard. We've walked around this neighborhood, and these neighbors are thanking you and these kids for cleaning up the neighborhood. And we've heard it up and down Lincoln Avenue about your program here. So uh, Thank you. congratulations on that. Thank you. Talk about a day in the life at, at the Ace Boxing Club. What, what goes on here? Uh, a lot of joy, a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, admiration, a lot of, uh, I love how to watch these youth uh, through our programs be transformed into, um, I've got a, I forgot the word. Good citizens. There you go. Yeah. Value citizens. Yeah. And to be a part of, of a whole. We're, how do, we're so how do diverse. You, how do you do that through boxing though? I mean, how, how does that work? Well, we teach them the fundamentals of boxing. We teach them uh, the offense and defense. It's not about a bloodbath. It's not about who can hit the hardest. It's about uh, sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. It's about technique. It's about skills. It's about so many different things that they, their, their esteem, that brings up their esteem. And everybody always looking for recognition. Here they are, one one on one combat in the ring. And, yeah. and to walk out of the ring and to pick up their hand because they worked for that. Yeah. Those are life skills that you're teaching. Exactly. It's not just about what happens in the ring. Exactly. Yeah. And how did it start 50 years ago? Who thought of this? And, and um, it started with my father. Uh -huh. um, Your father was a boxer. My father was a bo an amateur boxer, pro boxer. Um, actually, uh, boxing's in our bloodline through my grandfather, his grandfather. Yeah. Which his name was uh, Ted Porter. His boxing name was Cyclone. Cyclone? Cyclone. Cyclone Porter. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, he had 168 pro fights. Never an amateur. I believe the count was either 18 losses or eight losses. That's not bad. No. <laughs> I'd, no. Say, I'd say that that's, that's not record. a bad record. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And uh, well, then my father uh, started boxing. He became amateur and then pro. Um, then my father was trained in a lot of uh, thousands of people in his time too, um, amateur and pro boxers. Hmm. So he was ready to give up his, you know, um, training and stuff and he walks out of the gym i don't know exactly what gym it was because he had several several of them around the milwaukee community the south side community yeah so he told me that he walked out of the gym and he noticed a bunch of kids in the street there and they're in, uh they're close to a community center he says uh why don't you guys get your butts off the street and get uh in that community center and do something productive with your life oh mr porter we don't have any money yeah. So then he went home and he said he had like a spiritual awakening to take his gift and give it back to the underserved kids. That's and great. And, that's and his tradition and what he set out values. to do, you're yeah. still uh, you're still doing. Exactly. Uh, how many young adults are, are in this program? Young adults, they range, I can tell you the ages, they range from eight, well, young adults, uh, kids. Actually, the whole program starts from eight and up. Eight and up. Eight and up. And through, what, through what years? Eight to uh, eighty. Is it Even right? Some of my fathers, yeah. Oh, some that's of great. my fathers, athletes come down here and help out, and they use the lights, the gym, the condition, and stay in memory of what's changed their life. Yeah, meeting the guys who are here today, uh, the diversity in this program seems amazing. Oh, it's so diverse. They come from far and wide. We yeah. don't even advertise. Uh, they come from Hales Corners. They come. The furthest one came from Kewaskum. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's a hall. Uh, so Madison, <laughs> yeah, the military guy. Um, yeah, like I say, they come from far and wide. It's all word of mouth. Um, there are no dues. There's no fees. There's no membership. Um, 
but it's structured, like I said, through orientation class and yeah. registration class. Um, and their commitment has to be what? what? What are they committing to if they come in here and join? To the sport and to uh, our traditions and um, just uh, dress up and show up. Dress up and if show up. If you have a desire and a willingness to box, this is the yeah. place. And talk about the, the tribute he had. Oh, um, this used to be an old Polish school back in the day. A neighbor across the street gave me some history on it. She told me it was an old Polish school. Behind these walls are windows. Oh, really? Yeah, behind yeah. the uh, outside walls, are the windows are in between here. My father just boarded them up, but we just did a renovation on here. Uh, we had an in-kind donation of putting up plywood and drywall and stuff. That Kids drew a mirror up on the wall here. Yeah. They're not finished with it, but they're taking their time. Um, it used to be, this building used to be called Congress Hall. Um, they used to play bingo in here also. That's right. Right. So uh, my father, uh, Milwaukee County uh, and Peggy West. Sure. Um, got them to have a tribute of this building. My father's the first Native American ever to get a tribute on county ground. So now it's called the Dale Porter Pavilion. How cool is that? I know, I right? get goosebumps. <laughs> I did, I just did yeah. too. You can feel that divine intervention up in yeah. here. Yeah, that's good. It speaks to, uh, it then, speaks to uh, the work he did. These kids did a mural over here. This would be like the old board. They hung up like flyers my dad did. Yeah. Kid took a picture. Actually, he's not here right now, and he drew that mural right here. And it's nice and bright, and it used to be dark. Yeah. And this and used to be a schoolhouse? This used to be a schoolhouse. Huh. And uh, since 1960, uh, probably even before that, my grandfather, my father, and myself, no one has ever been compensated. We do this out of our heart. We get grants, uh, we get uh, good grants from the Sports Authority. Sure. Um, was that count, um, Potawatomi Forest, Forest County Potawatomi. Mm -hmm. We get funding from them, um, neighborhood uh, community. If you look right here, here's one of the projects that this is one of the projects that Sylvia Ortiz, uh -huh. she's a part of the community here. It says Ace Boxing Club Youth will be right here and then with their ink. These are the days of the cleanups. Sure. And in return for your work, Lee Village uh, Business will pay our rent. Oh, good. My father used to get it for a dollar a year. Now we get it for a hundred a month. hundred a month. Yeah. Um, but that's still, it's... April, May, June, July, August, September, and then the neighbors will pay if they right. help out. The businesses. I think that's uh, even during those other uh, past cleanups, they're invited to uh, Thrish, Thrish's Manos, the restaurant down sure. here. Free dinner, the, the whole team got free dinner and stuff like that. That was enjoyable. That's them. good. Ramon helped you out there. Yeah. 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 Good. And uh, other um, donations from the neighborhood uh, yeah. friends and stuff. You do good work. Thank you. Thanks for helping us out. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Keep it up, man. All right.